how do you send in blue hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can use send in blue to manage your email and text content so having said that let's just jump into it so over here as you can see this is the website over here sendinblue.com and what you're going to do is you're going to click on the big blue button that says sign up for free so simply click on sign up and it looks going to take you over to this platform where you just simply have to enter in your email address your password or you can sign up with google now either way it's fine i recommend signing up with google because it's a lot easier and it takes no time and you can sign up onto any website with just a single click of a button as i've said before so i'm going to click on sign up with google and i will catch you guys in a little bit and once you have done that it's going to ask you for your first name your last name and your phone number and you can click on next or you can answer this later but they won't be able to validate your account for sending if you don't do this right now you can do this later as well but it's better to do it beforehand so i'm going to go ahead and do this and then what you're going to do is you're going to add in your company address and your company name so just simply enter in your company name and then you can just simply have to enter in your street your zip code and your website if you have and once you have done that they'll basically ask you what is your team size how many contacts do you have your business activity your business sector and do you sell online so i'm gonna go ahead and say i have two to ten employees and we have one to three hundred contacts and our business activity is selling physical goods software application media or blog nonprofit, provide a service so i mean we do provide a service so i mean i think technically we do fall into it but we don't do consulting or real estate travel etc and then we're just gonna go ahead and enter in our business sector which we fall into and we're like media and stuff like that and medical health no i would say that technology and computing yeah do you sell online yes we do so i want to receive important products you can check if you want to but i would recommend leaving it blank because otherwise they're going to send you a bunch of different emails that may or may not be useful to you it all depends on you simply click on save after you've entered in all of this and then wait for a couple of minutes and it's going to take you over to the billing sector where you can choose which plan is most suitable for you so over here we have to choose our plan then customization and then checkout first things first as you can see we have four accounts we have the free the light the premium and the enterprise so in free we get unlimited contacts we have email campaigns transactional email crn m41 user and for the light version we get unlimited contacts no daily sending limit email support and if you have like add-ons if you want to then they remove the send in blue logo advanced statistics and a b testing if you want to. and then you can even you know move the slider around and so that they can know how many emails are you are going to be able to send so over here as you can see 40 50 60 and even a hundred thousand emails if you want and then they're gonna charge you according to that but in the free version you can only send 300 emails which is pretty good i would say and it all depends on you whichever one you want and then in the premium one they're gonna have facebook ads marketing automations five landing pages three user access and phone support as well so it all depends on you for me for now since i'm you know showing you how it works i'm gonna go ahead and choose the free plan for now and then once you have done that as you can see this is how it looks like over here this is your dashboard over here on the left side you have email you have templates statistics settings and sms credit and stuff like that and over here you have your get started type of checklist where you have to complete it to get like 100 percent if you want then you have your contacts you have opened you have clicked blacklisted email campaign over here so it all depends on you so first things first let's go ahead and get rid of this then it says schedule your first email campaign so let's go ahead and schedule it and as you can see over here we have no email campaigns as of yet so let's go ahead and create an email campaign over here on the right side over here this is going to be the name the subject line the preview text and then from and then from name so you can go ahead and do that so over here let's go ahead and enter in the campaign name this is going to be the setup then we have design recipients and confirmation so let's just go ahead and i'm going to name it testing for now we have the subject line you can add in the subject line for example private sale or 25 percent off on your new collection or stuff like that you can add like a highlight that's going to be the subject but since this is a test email i'm just going to write test over here and then over here this is going to be the preview text over here you can write like a short text about that can give an overview of the contact of the email that you are sending 
So I'm just going to write, this is a test email. And you can even add like personalizations as well. So if you click on add personalization, which attribute would you like to insert? So you have email, last name, first name, SMS, WhatsApp, and stuff like that. And then you have value of which value should be used if the attribute is empty and stuff like that. If you want to, you can go ahead and add that. I recommend and then you have the email from email and you can choose the email address to be shown in your recipient's inbox. And you can even add a new sender as well if you feel like your email is not good. Uh, of course, you will have to verify that email, but you can do that as well. And then you have from name over here. You just have to enter in your name or your company name. It all depends on you. So I'm going to write continuum, the company name. And then once it's done, we're going to go ahead and click on to the next step. Over here, we have the design. We have the layout over here. This is going to be the standard layout. So if it's a product or a story, promoting a product or a video or logo, it's stuff like that. Or you can just send a simple email. It all depends on you. And you have your template gallery over here, which is looks like this. All these templates and stuff like that. You can buy them as well. And then you can code your own template as well if you want to but i think a simple layout is going to be good for this i'm just going to choose the simple option over here the simple design and then you can edit your email as well so you can add like a bunch of different options so you have title text image button social media html styles over here header footer as well it all depends on you and navigation as you can see but as i said this is just for testing phase i'm just simply going to click on continue and over here this is the preview of it all right this is the preview on how it would look like if you receive this email this is for the browser one and this is for the uh, phone version so i'm going to click on send a test over here i'm going to enter in the email address for my own and then i'm just simply going to click on send a test all right for this one we must first add it as a contact so i'm gonna add it as my contact and then send the test okay the email was sent successfully let's go ahead and check it out so over here as you can see i received the email it was in my spam folder as well so as you can see this is the email that i sent and as you can see it works so we know that it works so the next step is for us to just simply click on next step and over here we can just simply add in the list of our contacts all right and then we can just simply click on next and then this email is going to be sent over here as you can see and you can even schedule this email as well so you can schedule a time if you click on it you can schedule the date date as well or and even the time as well it all depends on you or you can send it now so i'm just simply going to click on next confirm and boom there we go so that's how you basically, you know, create an email campaign if you want to. And then you can like go ahead and uh, suspend this email as well. Or you have a bunch of different options. As you can see, you can share this on your social media if you want. So that's how it basically looks like. And then we have automations as well. This was the campaign over here. You can add an automation for this. Basically, you know, if you send an email and that email has been open, then that will be the action. All right. And then the automation in response will do another action and you can send another email or you can update the attire or you can add it to your list. So as you can see, it's pretty nice. And if you enable automations, then you don't need a assistant for it. And you can just let it run automatically in the background. And then you have transactionals over here. You have to configure it first. All right. Welcome to SMT. You can send your transactional email and track them over here. So if you want, you can go ahead and do that as well. So done, done over here, waiting for the log. And if it works, it works. You know, I'll just let it run in the background for now. And then you have contacts over here at the end. And over here, you have a bunch of different lists of contacts that you can add it to as well. And uh, you can even import a contact list if you have one over here on the right side, or you can go ahead and add a new contact if you want. And then in the plus icon, we have a bunch of different more app centers, a bunch of different other applications that we're going to install on Sendin. So as you can see, we have an SMS campaign, transactional SMS, Facebook ad, landing pages, inbox, chat, CRM, and all these other stuff that we can integrate over into our SendBlue account. So as you can see, that's how you basically use SendinBlue. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.